Voltmeter is an essential instrument to monitor your battery's voltage. Voltmeters can be installed and placed anywhere. On this sport bike, I will remove this dashboard panel to gain access to the wiring harness. Use a 1 for hex key, which is equivalent to 7mm. Specifically, this bolt, it has a washer spacer in between. Others are just plain bolt. There are three bolts for each side of the dashboard panel. Carefully remove the panel. And there you can see the different wires and harnesses. This has like a pin lock clip, so just simply pull it. The rest are held by bolts. The voltmeter will have two wires, a positive and a negative wire. The positive wire should always be attached or tapped into a 12 volt wire that is only activated when the ignition switch is on. Never tap it on a constant 12 volt wire, otherwise your voltmeter won't turn off, even when the ignition key is turned off. For the negative wire, you can tap it anywhere on the chassis or even on the ground wires, like the negative line of the battery. For me, I don't really like the idea of tapping into the original wires. Luckily, there is an aftermarket 12 volt relay which I can use as a source for my voltmeter. Others commonly tap it into the ignition switch, which can be traced on the main harness. With the ignition key turned off, I tap the probe on the wire and place the other probe on the metal parts of the body. Here I found a ground wire. Now I switch to another wire to find out if it is a 12 volt ignition switch wire. And yes, as you can see, it beeps and reads 12 volts whenever I turn on the ignition switch. So I will splice those two wires and use it as my source for my voltmeter. With the wires being tapped in, I will now test it. Now that it works properly, I seal the wires and organize it. I test it again to make sure that everything is smooth. Now that it is good, I return all of the panels. The voltmeter needs to be secured. I decided to mount it on this screw. Here I modified a bracket to mount my voltmeter. This step is based on self-preference. It depends on where you want it to be. I chose this spot to make it look clean and spacious.
normal that it reaches 13 to 14 volts when the engine is running. So there you have it. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you very much for watching and God bless.